Welcome or welcome back at I need help at C squared. In this example, we have a rational function. We need to find the equation of the horizontal and vertical asymptote. We also need to find the domain of this function. And um, let's take a look first to the horizontal asymptote. And I, down here, I said horizontal asymptote describe how the graph behaves as the input gets very large or very small. So an easy way is to think what's happened when x is getting large. That's what I mean here. What's happened with the function? And when x is getting large, infinity, right? Infinity plus 1 will be infinity. And 1 divided by infinity, all this guy here, is going to get closer to 0. Right? 1 divided by any large number, is getting close to zero and zero plus two that means the function goes closer and closer to two so a shortcut in this case for this rational function is to look to the number we have here that will be the horizontal asymptote y equals two Okay, uh, what about vertical asymptote? And you notice here I said vertical asymptote describe how the graph behaves as the output gets very large or very small. Okay, what do I mean? We want to find out when y is getting larger, right? When f of x is getting larger or small. And in this case, you want to take a look to this guy here, x plus 1 make it equals to 0, solve it, and in this case it's very easy, subtract 1. That's it. This is the vertical asymptote. Okay. So I think it's very simple. And let me explain using the graph. The graph is another way to see the asymptotes eventually, how that second part goes. So you notice when x is getting closer to negative 1 from this uh, left side, the graph is up there, right? That means the value of the function gets closer and closer to infinity, okay? But when it comes from the other side, the graph is down here, and down here it's negative infinity. So that's, that's the meaning of the vertical asymptote uh, based on what I said down here on the bottom. So very easy ways to find the asymptote if you remember these two shortcuts. And now the domain. The domain of this function, again, you don't really need a picture. It's about this vertical asymptote. If you take a look here, it's any number but negative 1. So if you want to write the interval notation negative infinity, negative 1 union with negative 1 infinity. This is the domain. We are not looking for the range in this problem, but just in case you need it, the range. Okay. Again, in this moment, you have the picture, but also you have what we call this horizontal asymptote. The domain is any number but 2. So these two horizontal, uh, these two asymptotes help you also to find the domain and the range and I'm going to write this in also in interval notation in case you need it but like I said in this problem you don't really need the range if you enjoy this example don't forget to click the like button and come back at c squared for more help thank you